Hello. <laughs> Thanks for watching my first video of my 12 week cut. Um, I've been cutting for probably 12, 14 months now. And I've gone from like over 200 pounds last Christmas to around 167 pounds now, so in a year. That's not too drastic, but I've been focusing a lot on maintaining muscle um, and sort of slowly cutting body fat without drastically reducing my calories uh, too much because I have previously to this year long cut, I spent a lot of time sort of weightlifting so I didn't want to waste all the gains that I'd made during that 12 month period. Um, so right now I'm just on my way to get some steps in this weekend. There's like a nice kind of rural area um, near where I live. And I just wanted to, I guess, Tell, see what say what the plan is for the next 12 weeks. I feel like I'm in, a, I'm in a position now where I'd be happy to start sharing progress pictures and and show you where I'm starting at in January and then tell you where I plan to be um, 12 weeks from now. Um, I've got a coach that does all my calorie planning and macros uh, splits and plans my workouts and that sort of stuff. But, you know, for, for a lot of people, that's not an option. It is pretty expensive. I'm, I'm lucky to be in a position where I can put a bit of money to one side to make sure I've got a guy that's looking after all of my um, calorie intake and that sort of thing. It sort of, kind of takes a lot, of the, a lot of the guesswork out of my hands, so it doesn't leave much room for error. But I know for a lot of you guys spending 70, 80 quid on personal trainers and nutritionists and all this sort of thing every month, isn't really an option so I'm not really in a position to be giving nutritional advice or training advice but I can show you what I do and I can show you what works for me and I'll upload hopefully a bit one video a week um, and I'll just show you I'll record a little every day and show you what sort of things I'm eating what sort of training I'm doing and the progress that I'm making every week um, as I move towards like a, a, a three hopefully being in sort of like holiday shape at the end of three months. Um, I might put a picture up of what I look like this morning. I took a picture this morning that was pretty decent, so that's the reason that I've really, I've been wanting to start these videos for a while, but I took a picture this morning and I was like, right, you know what, actually I'm comfortable to say to people, this is where I'm starting from now and help them along the way with their goals. Um, I suppose January is a good time to start as well because there's a lot of people looking to get in shape for New Year's resolutions and that sort of thing. And it just so happens that I'm still going from my New Year's resolution last year. So um, I'm going to go for a walk and I'll talk a bit more about my training and my diet and my macros and my calories and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I suppose that would make a good first entry to this video series. <sighs> Shit man, did I pick the wrong jacket to wear? But t-shirt and a tiny hoodie and it's absolutely freezing bad move i wanted to film the walk up but there's too many people with like dogs and those what's power walking sticks and stuff so i can't do that I'm not, i can't have people with power walking sticks giving me a funny look that's the wrong way around anyway so calories wise right now um i'm cutting on 2050 i've wound that back over the past 12 months from 2,250. And that's made up of uh, my proteins at 230 grams, carbs are at 150, and my fats are at 60 grams right now. Um, I wouldn't advise anyone that's going straight into a cut to jump to those calories straight away because it takes a little bit of getting used to, to be honest with you. It's more than just being on the Sort of thing. Um, so those are where my macros are at in training wise. Um, my weightlifting routines are I do uh, an upper and lower A session, which are like heavier, lower volume sessions. My compound lifts in those sessions are like eight reps, um, eight to ten reps, and I tend to go quite heavy on them. And then I'll do 
a rest day and then I'll do an upper and lower B session and in those sessions it's higher volume and slightly lower weight so I'm working in a, in a rep range of around uh, 12 to 14. Um, a lot of the time the movements are the same on the A's and B sessions but it's just a case that the weight um, goes up and down accordingly um, and then I'll do three cardio sessions a week as well. Um, I've recently swapped them to three high intensity interval training cardio sessions but previously they were uh, sort of steady state low intensity cardio sessions um, that was working well for me for a while but I hit like a, a kind of plateau there for a, I'd say like a month really like I did I only shifted a couple of pounds in a month so I spoke to my coach about it and he said um, let's change it to sort of high intensity sessions and that that smashed the plateau to be honest with you it made a massive difference so uh, like a high intensity cardio session for example for me that would consist of um, three kind of high intensity bursts on a exercise bike so I do 30 seconds you know as fast as I can on a high difficulty setting and then I drop the difficulty down and slow my pace right down for 30 seconds I repeat that three times and then I do the same thing on a cross trainer except I'd do 40 seconds high intensity, 20 seconds rest. I'd do three cycles of that. And then I do, I do a thousand meters on a rowing machine and I aim for my fastest time every time I do it. I try and average just under four minutes. Again, not amazing, but for me, it's a big improvement. When I started, it was just under five minutes. So I've shaved a minute off over the past three or four months. And then I finish the high intensity session just with a 15 minute incline walk. I hope it's not too windy and you can actually hear what I'm saying. I'm going to be devastated if I get this back and it's just... Um, so that's what my training's like at the minute. If anyone's got like specific questions about my training, I can share the routine with you. Um, but as long as you're getting like big compound lifts in. So for example, an upper A session for me um, this month would start with... Um, three sets of eight reps bench press and then it'd be on to um, three sets of eight bent over rows but obviously I'm working with a weight there where I'm only just managing to get eight reps out um, you know without sacrificing form too much and then on the B session I'd repeat those same compound lifts but I'd be working in a rep range where you know I can I'm much more comfortable. I can I can just about get 12 to 14 reps out again, not sacrificing form at all. But I'm I'm making sure that I'm challenging myself within those rep ranges. Either way, um, so I'm going to be sticking with those same calories and macros for the next, at least the next month. I think probably for the foreseeable future. If my coach makes any adjustments to my macros and calories, I'll definitely update. Um, those in these videos and then my I'm gonna make like weekly check-in videos but I'm also gonna make some videos like just useful foods and supplements and that sort of thing that I find is helpful to stay on track like protein bars which can be quite expensive but I found some decent ones that you can get for quite cheap um, like protein pancake mixes and recipes my girlfriend's really really good at cooking healthy food and tracking the macros and that sort of stuff so I'll be sure to share some of her recipes as well um, and I guess that's it for like an introductory video. I've covered my training and macros. So if you're kind of my age, height and weight, which is 29, I'm five foot eight and I'm around 167 pounds. Um, I guess you'd be all right with my training and my macros. Um, if you're a little bit heavier, if you're similar, but a little bit heavier, just start your calories a bit more and then dial them back, you know, as your weight comes down. And if you hit a plateau for two weeks and you have been sticking to your calories and your macros like consistently, then you know to to dial the carbs and the fat back a little bit, try and, and just try and keep your protein high. That's what I've been doing. That's been re working really, really well for me. So I'll check in soon. Cheers.